Join Barbara Daniels, Site Supervisor for the Lighthouse for Children, and Dr. Matilda Soria, Program Coordinator in the Early Care and Education Department for the Fresno County Superintendents of Schools, to find out about the activities that Fresno has been piloting over the past year. Matilda and Barbara will be sharing information and resources for home and community math installations, a math backpack program, and ideas for engaging families in fun mathematical explorations at home and at school. Please welcome Matilda and Barbara. Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying the early math symposium so far. We'd like to welcome you to our presentation entitled Math is in the Lighthouse. We wish that we could meet all of you in person, but to compensate, we decided to create collages with images which showcase a little bit about who we are as professionals and individuals. Hello again, my name is Dr. Matilda Soria. I'm the Director of the Early Care and Education Department of the Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. I help to oversee our department operations and directly oversee our local child care and development planning council and the California Statewide Early Math Initiative. I earned my undergraduate and graduate degrees from California State University Fresno and Harvard University and have a background in psychology and education. I pursued the field of education because I truly feel that as Nelson Mandela articulated so beautifully, that education is the most powerful weapon which you, which you can use to change the world. Hello, my name is Barbara Daniel. As you view my personal video collage, I'd like to share a little bit more information about me and who I am with you. I am the site supervisor at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center, which is operated by the Office of Fresno County Superintendent of Schools and is the demonstration site for the California Early Math Initiative. As you can see from my photo collage, I am also a wife, a mother of one, graduated from Fresno State with my master's degree in education with an emphasis in early childhood education. I enjoy cooking, and my favorite childhood book is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. I hope you enjoy this presentation and gain valuable information to support children, staff, and families with building strong math foundations. Thank you for allowing us to share a little bit about who we are. Our hope is that at the end of our presentation, you will have received an introduction of the California Statewide Early Math Initiative and also gain an understanding of how the Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools is piloting initiative strategies of the California Statewide Early Math Initiative at our Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center program. Finally, we hope that you'll be able to garner practical strategies and ideas that you could replicate in your own classroom, whether that be in a school site, in the community, or a home setting. Before we, before we share about the early math efforts at the Lighthouse, we wanted to first share with you about the Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. And who better to do that than our own superintendent, Jim Yovino. Without further ado, here is Superintendent Jim Yovino. Driven by an unrelenting passion for our children, we at the Fresno County Office of Education understand that every child deserves a quality education and a chance to reach his or her full potential. We understand that career technical education empowers students to make meaningful career choices by providing opportunities to explore their interests, develop career skills, and reinforce academics. We remain unwavering in our commitment to career technical education, regional occupational programs, and events like Career Tech Expo and the Career Skills Challenge. We understand that a high quality education in the visual and performing arts raises test scores, lowers the dropout rates, improves attendance, and teaches skills vital to success in college and career. Through programs like the Fresno County Youth Choir, Stages, Any Given Child, Arts Every Day, and Spark, we remain committed to providing students in Fresno County with an arts education that is second to none. We understand that few issues affect students in Fresno County more directly than poverty. We know that 137,000 students in Fresno County 
are eligible for free or reduced meal programs. Our schools are often the only thing standing between a child and the pains of hunger. We believe education can be one of the greatest tools to end the cycle of poverty and are committed to actively supporting community programs and partnerships that work to decrease poverty in our communities. We understand that every child enters school with a different set of circumstances. Some may need more support in the classroom, others may need support at home. Student intervention exists to provide a network of support to address and eliminate obstacles to student success. That support can be in the form of one of our many excellent programs, or it can simply be each and every one of us deciding to mentor a young person. We do not give up on any child. We understand that teaching our children lessons in civility and pride in our country will result in a new generation that does not accept violence and complacency as the norm. We are striving to teach our students the importance of serving their community. We want them to know that they do have a voice and they can make an impact. With programs and initiatives such as Servant Leadership and CHIPS, we are committed to leading the way on teaching kindness, respect, dignity, and integrity the building blocks at the foundation of any great society. We understand all families, especially those living in unstable or inadequate housing, deserve efficient and integrated resources to help them achieve economic stability and educational success. Over 5,000 students in Fresno County are homeless. Our homeless youth services support school stability and school access for students who have an unstable living situation. Knowing the impact homelessness can have on a child's education, FCOE will support community programs and partnerships aimed at ending homelessness. We understand that the first years of a child's life will determine his or her future success. Our mission is to provide leadership and training in the arena of early care and education to schools, providers, and the community in an effort to ensure a high quality school readiness experience for children. We subscribe to the popular saying, it takes a village to raise a child. And we support community and business partnerships which produce initiatives such as the Talk, Read, Sing campaign, designed to promote early learning. In addition to these key areas, we understand that supporting the 32 school districts in Fresno County is a crucial role of the Fresno County Office of Education. And we remain committed to supporting our educational community through support services like special education, court and community schools, legal services, information systems and technology, human resources, and business services. No matter what department you work in, what you do impacts the life of a child. I look at capiche as a, it's a, it's a really simple word that means so much, it's so powerful, and you know, it's do you understand? And I want our community to understand that, that this isn't a, a single entity. It's not schools, it's not, uh, it's not businesses, it's all of us. All of us, do, do we understand that if we want to change the life of a child, that we all have to do it together. The Lighthouse for Children is the home of program services and training opportunities in support of young children and their families. First Five Fresno County and community partners, including the Child Development Center, offer families a learning environment where they feel safe, supported, and prioritized. As a demonstration site for the California Early Math Initiative, the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center operated by the Office of Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, has the opportunity to test and learn early math concepts to assist our youngest learners, teachers, and families with building confidence in their ability to successfully explore math. In recognition of parents as their child's first teachers, we recognize that parent support is essential to ensuring positive early math experiences and to ensure that there's a bridge between home and school. Therefore, an emphasis has been placed on collaborating with parents to drive the California Early Math Initiative by providing family engagement opportunities to support their children with experiences at home. The Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center has offered many family engagement activities surrounding early math over the past year. Some of those engagement opportunities have included family math nights, take home 
math packs, a monthly home activity calendar, interactive math exhibits, and math totes that will be discussed more in depth later in this presentation. At the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center, we have worked very hard to build teacher confidence in providing rich early learning math experiences through training and coaching provided by the Office of Fresno County Superintendent of Schools Math Curriculum Specialists. We have aspired to provide our youngest learners and teachers with exposure to positive and rich math experiences that support a can-do attitude and remove stigmatisms around math, such as, I'm just not good at math. As a result of the coaching our center receives, we have increased our understanding around early math and Fresno County Superintendent of Schools math curriculum specialists have come into our program and demonstrated lessons for teachers in small and large groups. They allowed opportunities for the math curriculum specialists to model how math activities can be implemented and then given then teachers are given the opportunity to um, conduct those same activities. And then after um, the modeling and demonstrations of lessons, then they're provided with a safe place for personal reflection for teachers to really get to know more about how they're doing with math activities and gain a more positive understanding around their, around their ability to teach math experiences. The coaching received from the math curriculum specialists also include lessons that are based upon children's literature reviews and activities found on the Early Math Initiative website, earlymathca.org. As we talk about Fresno County, some of you may be wondering where the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center is located. The Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center is located in the heart of California in downtown Fresno County and represents a unique partnership between First Five Fresno County and the Office of Fresno County Superintendent of Schools. The Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center provides services for children six weeks to five years old and offers a blended funding model that meets the needs of families from all socioeconomic backgrounds, including low, moderate, and high-income families. The Lighthouse for Children offers state-of-the-art classrooms that include a workspace for staff, both carpeted and non-carpeted sections of the classrooms for children to engage in various interest areas throughout the classroom, including but not limited to art, science, mathematics, music and movement, dramatic play, etc. The Lighthouse also features a preschool classroom that utilizes a dual language, the dual language model. Um, oh, I said that wrong. It also includes a 50-50 dual language model for preschool age children, which includes a balance of English and Spanish with the goal of maintaining the child's first language and providing English only children with early exposure to Spanish. Additionally, our playground was designed with the intention of creating a park-like setting that is very natural with trees, hills, gardening boxes, two sandboxes, an embankment slide, a rock wall and water features, including a bubble rock in one of our sandboxes and water misters for, the, for those hot summer months. The play art patio also includes ceiling fans and tables to allow teachers and children to take indoor learning opportunities outdoors for further exploration. The Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center also offers, um, also includes observation areas within the center for families and lab students to receive on-site training opportunities and learn more about the program's approach to high quality services. Before we dive deeper into this presentation, we will show you a video that provides an overview of the early math work that has been done uh, and piloted at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center over the past year. Why is that tall? So your daddy is this tall, your mommy is this tall, I and am you this. are... A map can be anywhere, you know, you're at the grocery store. Can you help me count three apples? One. Everybody can be a math person. Go. Tap, tap. Tap two balls, tap, tap. And we kind of have a joke lately that, that everything is math. You can catch the water. Early math learning could occur anywhere. The classroom is anywhere. One, two, three, go! 
ensuring that our families recognize that they are mathematicians as much as anyone else, and that love gets projected to their children. Oh, this is a crazy looking cube. I wonder if we put that at the end, if the big one will fit. What do you think? The California Statewide Early Math Initiative has three main components. The first is professional development and coaching. That's two each. The second is family engagement. It has the activities that you can do that correlate with the book. Okay. And the third is the lighthouse demonstration site. This is a truly special part of the project where we're testing and piloting all the different materials and tools that we're creating in the project. Two more. So our goal at the Lighthouse is essentially to support our youngest learners with building positive relationships and a positive understanding of early math inside the classrooms so that hopefully as they get older and enter into elementary school, they'll have a more positive understanding about what math is. The Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools is the lead agency, but we can't do it alone, especially with this lofty of a project. It's a multi-agency, multi-pronged approach. It not only provides the mentoring and the assistance to uh, create a, a very strong teaching workforce across the state, but it also provides a, a rich opportunity to reach parents through a, a very multifaceted communications campaign and also to provide a number of materials and resources that we think will benefit families and educators alike. At Ames, we support equitable approaches to teaching and learning in mathematics and science. Uh, we're especially interested in making mathematics and science more creative and joyful experiences for both children and teachers. As part of the California Statewide Early Math Initiative, Ames is facilitating a professional learning and coaching program with approximately 100 educators across the state of California. We also partner with our STEM department, and they provide the demo lessons and coaching for our local practitioners. We're partnering with 30 agencies across the state, including school districts, county office of eds, community-based organizations or nonprofit organizations that serve children birth to third grade and also provide training and coaching. We also partner with WestEd. They are providing the independent evaluation. We were quite ambitious when we were looking at the desired outcomes. Long term, we want to see a difference in students' math scores. We recognize that the data nowadays when we're looking at math is not at the high potential that children should be able to achieve. And so we figured that why not start early to be able to infuse that love of math with our children. Part of the White House, we're gonna build a foundation at the bottom. We organized the Institute around several big ideas in early mathematics, such as play-based pedagogy, the importance of culturally relevant pedagogy, uh, and then some content areas in early mathematics that are important for teachers and learners, such as number sense and spatial reasoning. Our participants engaged in these sessions and developed their own understanding of these important ideas through interactive uh, lessons and activities, through the use of creative materials, and we really focused on engaging our participants as learners and then encourage them to think about ways that they would implement these content ideas, activities, and strategies in their own contexts. I really enjoyed the tubes with the dots on them. I got that idea from the Institute and I brought it back right away and I was like, okay, we have the tubes, you know, we can, we can do this. I've been able to share with my co-teachers activities that I learned from there that we can continue to incorporate in the classroom. Community of practice sessions. During these sessions, we invite local participants to join us here in Ames in person and then we use video conferencing technology to engage with the rest of our participants who are across the state. We highlight resources that are available to participants. We share successes and challenges in our implementation plans across the state. And we continue to develop content knowledge and understanding and some of the key ideas that were initiated during the Summer Institute, such as how to use playful experiences in mathematics and science, how to draw on students' cultural resources as assets for learning in the classroom. Anybody in your family that could be that tall? Yes. Yeah. Cool. 
My cousin Alexa's baby. Your cousin Alexa's baby could be the smallest one. The doorbell rang. <laughs> so we go into the classrooms. We work directly with the students with the teachers observing us. And then we were able to meet with the teacher afterwards and talk about how the lesson went, what maybe worked well in their eyes or our eyes, what didn't work well. And I'm hearing the language and the vocabulary he's using. So that way, I, if there's anything I need to capture when I provide the lesson for the kids, I can also try and do my best to, to do that as well, to maximize the learning experience with the kids. So as a part of our family math night, we had a presentation for families surrounding early math so that parents were able to gain some information and knowledge about how to support their children, what early math looks like, and how to continue building on those experiences. We piloted one on November 14th here. About 40 families came and participated. It was a wonderful opportunity to test what we have been creating and look at how we can bundle these so they can be used across the state in, in other situations. Not just at child development centers, but also at libraries, for example, neighborhood resource centers, places where we have trusted messengers and families naturally congregate around that area. And inside the backpack. One of the deliverables is the Math Pack program, which is a child's backpack with children's literature focused on early math with different activities and exercises that families could do at home with their children. Similar to kind of a homework assignment, but more fun because parents have the opportunity to read a story with the children. There's the materials for an activity as well as extension questions to really help the children understand more about the concepts taking place in the story and also with an emphasis on math. Read the book with your child first. When we launched the math packs for our families, our parents were really excited and lined up and ready to go. I had a parent come back this morning and he was like, oh my gosh, my son loved the backpack. I read him the book 10 times and he really enjoyed the activities. We're going to keep working with them over the next two weeks and we can't wait to get the next backpack. One, two, three, four. Our current exhibit is measuring height with objects. As our exhibit, we have our superintendent, Jim Yavino, and the children have the opportunity to stand next to him with balls or blocks, and then measure their height using those objects in comparison to Jim. The wind tunnel. Families had the opportunity to come in and construct different um, objects to see how high they float, how low, if there was something heavier, lighter, what happens, and really having conversations about changes in speed and velocity. Yeah, it's not as light as these other objects, huh? We have been developing a series of 30 short math videos that are all part of the family engagement piece. They show ideas that parents can take in everyday situations uh, and really run with on their own. Uh, they show the math in going to the laundromat. They show the math in building a fence in your backyard or in going to the park. So I need you to say stop when I fill this cup halfway. How about our school, Lighthouse for Children? What does it look like? What it looks like is walking into a classroom where math and science is very visible in the environment through both the conversations that teachers are having with the children. There may be even conversations with parents that are taking place. We do have a very diverse population that is here, including a dual language model of 50-50. Muy bien. Being able to see the early math project incorporated into that dual language where you're hearing language in both Spanish as well as English, and you're also incorporating these concepts um, through everyday meaningful interactions. ¿No quieres tentar? We're also developing an early math application that will be free and available to all families and teachers. There is a website that is coming out as part of this, and then math reviews. About 100 books have been covered so far, and we'll continue to build that library. And then our partner in West Ed has been most helpful by doing a survey of all of different uh, math research that is available and providing guidance documents. The current project is, is 21 months, which is quite short. It's difficult to measure child-level outcomes, but that is our ultimate goal, to be able to um, assess the impact of the different deliverables that we provide on, on children and their mathematics achievement. Always keeping them interested. We don't want the students to become bored with the math, but to be engaged and excited. It's really easy for people to say, I'm no good at math. We want people to say, I'm excited about math, because that's what's really a great thing to see with our students. So we'll keep pushing to make the math fun 
and making sure that parents recognize also in the future that math can be fun and we're enjoying doing that in school and it can also be done at home. I had a discovery along with Sophia and she said bubbles ball and it was like an aha moment for me. Bubba. Ready? Oh, bubble and ball. Ooh. Bubba. They are both round. Yeah. yeah. To me, that's what math is for infants and toddlers. It is noting what's already right there. And isn't that kind of cool that we can share that, noticing that, you know, at the same time. At the heart of the intentionality of instruction is a plan. At the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center, we call this a plan of possibility, which is most commonly known as a lesson plan. However, when we think of children, as I'm sure you can relate, we think of the endless possibilities in any given day, and ultimately we want to reflect on the child observations and plan meaningful learning experiences in support of our youngest learners. Although, we know that sometimes we must adapt our plans at a moment's notice in response to child temperaments, staffing, uninterested children, and the weather, and other, as well as other reasons that come up throughout the day. Therefore, it is important that families also know what they see on our lesson plan, on our plan of possibility posted outside of the classroom may not be what they observe in the classroom. As you can see above, I have shared the picture, a picture of the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center Plan of Possibility. As we share more about the early math work that has been piloted over the past year at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center, it is important to share how this work has influenced our plan of possibilities in relation to math. While the structure of our plan of possibilities remain the same, the intentionality and in support of meaningful and rich math experiences has shifted tremendously as teachers have gained more confidence in relation to early math, received early math coaching, and become more aware of early math resources available to support them in classroom planning. Prior to the California Early Math Initiative, each classroom had primarily defined a specific area for math learning materials on a couple of shelves. However, as we received more training from early math coaches, they began, the teachers began reflecting on more opportunities to enhance their environment by integrating math throughout the environment to support children with continuously building on positive early math experiences and recognizing the experiences that were already provided in the classroom, such as books, songs, timers, markers, menus, etc. The idea that math is everywhere became more and more prevalent as we continued. They also began intentionally using more math vocabulary during mealtimes, outdoor play, and transitions. As you can see from the photos above, the children are actively participating in two different early math experiences. The top picture is a picture of a large group activity with the focus on numbers and counting, but not just looking at the number four, the teacher is demonstrating that the number four comes in different formats. And with this one, you can count the dots one by one, and they will tell you how many dots you see. The children then demonstrate with their fingers to incorporate different modalities of learning. Notice all the children are focused on the teacher, teacher and actively engaged. The bottom picture shows a small group of girls building with blocks which provided a rich opportunity to explore math, including but not limited to geometry, measurement, weight, patterns, math, number sense, etc. You may have heard of the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. And the excitement displayed by these girls is a beautiful display of active engagement and enjoyment while engaged in an early math activity. One of the tools teachers used to support their curriculum planning efforts was the California Infant and Toddler Curriculum Frameworks and the California Preschool Frameworks. Some of you may be thinking, what are the California Curriculum Frameworks? Both frameworks present strategies for early childhood educators that enrich learning and development opportunities for all of California's children and share ideas for how to intentionally integrate learning into children's play 
implement child-directed and teacher-directed activities, plan environments, interactions, routines, and materials that engage children in learning, and individualize curriculum based on children's knowledge, skills, needs, and interests. I recommend that you take a look at the frameworks and the California Infant and Toddler and Preschool Foundations, which are companion documents to the curriculum frameworks. The California Infant and Toddler and Preschool Foundations provide developmental competencies typically obtained by children when they are in high quality early learning environments. Thank you, Barbara, for sharing about how we are piloting early math efforts of the initiative in our classrooms at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center. As shared during the video earlier, the California Statewide Early Math Initiative is also developing and piloting family engagement strategies, resources, and materials, including a math app, early math activities connected to children's literature, family math nights, and at-home learning tools. Some of these strategies and resources are also piloted at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center, including the interactive math exhibits as displayed in the picture shown here in this slide. The concept of the interactive math exhibits were born out of an interest to reach a broader audience of children and families in community settings, really lifting up the goal of the initiative that learning math can occur everywhere. Our aim was to create early math installations that foster playful, informal, and intergenerational early math learning experiences in community settings such as public libraries and neighborhood resource centers. The exhibits are designed to address California infant, toddler, and preschool learning foundations, specifically geometry, number sense, measurement, classification and patterning, mathematical reasoning, scientific inquiry, fundamental movement, and perception, perceptual motor skills. So far, we've been piloting two exhibits, the wind tunnel and how many objects are you? In the pictures featured on this slide, the how many objects are you exhibit is shown, which provides children with opportunities to measure with objects such as balls and other items um, and graphics that are displayed on the wall, including our very own Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, Jimmy Ovino, in addition to children's height. So children would use these objects to measure how tall they are in relation to the objects on the wall, how tall the objects on the wall are in relation to the objects that they use. Shown on this slide is the wind tunnel exhibit, which allows children opportunities to place different items in a fabricated wind tunnel, such as paper, feathers, and toys, to see which are able to travel through the tunnel and exit the length of time it takes, etc. When designing and implementing the exhibits, we wanted to make sure that we used recyclable or reusable materials that are free to low cost. In Fresno County, we have what's called a Trash for Teachers program that we leveraged for raw materials. Also, we installed in areas of our center that are high traffic for children and parents. So, for example, in this, uh, for this exhibit featured in the picture, it's nearby the entryway of the center. Finally, our plan is to create a guidance document in English and Spanish for educators and parents to replicate these that we've shared today and other early math exhibits in their communities. So far, we've learned quite a bit about our pilot testing of the exhibits at the Lighthouse. One thing that we learned is that toddlers are super strong. We had to modify some of the materials to ensure durability and also do some pre-testing uh, before piloting. We also learned that it was necessary to pilot written exhibit instructions with a small group of families to ensure that they are easily understood. We also learned that um, we needed to include graphics and pictures, including in addition to text. Our exhibits were bilingual at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center in English and in Spanish. And so early on, we recognized the importance of developing the exhibit name and any labels, instructions, et cetera, in non-English language first, and then translate into English. In the beginning, we had developed some cutesy names in English and discovered that they did not translate well into Spanish. As shared previously, piloting amongst a small group of parents is key to ensure understanding and maximize participation in the exhibit. As you've seen in the video shown earlier in the presentation, another family engagement opportunity provided at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center are math packs. Math packs 
are backpacks that families can check out to facilitate early math experiences at home. The Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center staff created the math packs for infants through preschool children using literature reviews available on the Early Math Project website at earlymathca.org. The literature reviews provide all the information that you would need to replicate these math packs. Our math packs include a copy of the literature review, the correlating book and materials needed for the family to do the activity at home, and a parent survey for parent feedback. The math packs provide a rich opportunity for family engagement at home and gives the parents the tools needed to actively facilitate a math activity, including instructions, extension questions, and key vocabulary from the book. An example of a math pack is shown above. It's called Banana for Two, which is about a mom and her toddler who go to the grocery store and explore the idea of one and two. One roll of paper towels, one box of cereal, two containers of yogurt, and one banana to share as a snack for two. Materials included two blocks, one rattle, two baby shoes, one st and one stuffed animal, which can easily be found at home. The activity is called Exploring One and Twos, and the object is to explore amounts in one and two. Additionally, in the photos above, you can see two boys happily leaving the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center with their backpacks, a child looking at the back math packs available to check out, and a family waiting for their turn to check out a backpack. After all the information that we have shared regarding our experiences at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center over the past year as a demonstration site for the Early Math Initiative, I'd like to share a few final family engagement pieces that were provided for our families to keep their children actively engaged at home during the COVID-19 pandemic. The first is a monthly activity calendar that you can see in the picture above. The calendar provides a different activity each day that parents can do with their children at home with an emphasis on math and science two days a week. We also created math totes that included hands-on math-based learning materials for parents to ensure that children had hands-on learning materials at home with supporting activities for each kit. Shout out to the Lighthouse for Children Child Development team for all their hard work over the past year in support of the Early Math Initiative and working with diligence to ensure our children and families had a plethora of early math experiences that other programs can replicate. There's lots and lots more to share about the California Statewide Early Math Initiative and the pilot at the Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center. Thankfully, some of our partners are presenting on some of the other portions of the initiative during the Early Math Symposium. We're still in the process of evaluating the pilot components. Uh, we're actually partnering with WestEd to support an independent evaluation of the pilot and the other components of the initiative. However, some insights garnered so far include the significance of intentionality in regards to reducing anxiety associated with math during professional development and coaching. We found that this will build the capacity of educators and parents to effectively role model early math experiences, which are positive and fun rather than scary and rote. Finally, engagement of families is key. We all know that parents are their children's first and most important teachers. It is truly incumbent that we partner with parents and engage them in their children's learning of early math in a meaningful way. This concludes our presentation. Thank you so much for your participation today. Again, there's so much more we'd love to share with you. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about the great work of our Early Care and Education Department of the Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools and or our Lighthouse for Children Child Development Center program, feel free to contact us at any time. Our email addresses are both located on this slide. I hope you enjoy the rest of the Early Math Symposium. Thank you so much. Thank you.